people follow certain patterns of behavior that are considered socially acceptable and are expected of everyone. Communicating properly through the use of spoken and body language in the proper time and place encourages better understanding and harmony in the family or in the community. What behaviors are expected of you as a son or a daughter and a pupil? Very good. You are expected to be an obedient son or a pupil. Class animals do not talk like humans do, but they have their own means of communication that is important for their survival. How do animals interact? How do they know if danger is coming? How do they find food? How do they teach their young basic skills like flying, attacking, and hunting? In this lesson class, we will talk about the social behaviors of an animals. So let us begin. First, let us discuss how do animals behave in a group. Plus, in the animal world, ang animal ay merong iba't ibang katangian o paraan para mabuhay na magkakasama. Part of an animal's behavior ay ang ability to interact at makipag-communicate sa ibang species. Ang tawag dito ay social behavior. This includes communicating by producing different sounds or exhibition behaviors, like the courtship dances of birds. Other examples include defending one's territory and endangering one's life to save another. Ang tawag dito ay altruistic behavior. Plus, alam nyo ba na tayong mga Pilipino ang ginagamit nating lengguahe ay ang wikang Pilipino. Dahil tayo ay ipinanganak sa Philippines. Kaya nating umunawa at nakaintindi ng salitang Tagalog. Kaya rin nating matutunan at makaintindi ng mga salitang Banyaga. Dahil tayo ay nagkaaral. Alam niyo ba na ang animals have special ways of communicating with one another? Such as whales and birds singing. Bees dancing to find honey and salmon using sands to find the streams where they can spawn. Isa yun sa tinatawag na social behavior of an animal. Next is, an animal's territory is usually the place where it was born as well as its hunting ground. So, guarding this territory is vital to its survival. Any trespasser will face terrible consequences because these animals do not give up their territory without a fight, such as the danger posed by big brown bears when humans intrude into their quiet lives in the temperate forest. Ang ibig sabihin nito class, isa rin sa katangian or behavior ng isang animal ay ang i-guard ang kanyang territory. Okay? Next na katangian or behavior ng animal ay endangering one's life to save another. Example ay ang mother bat will do anything it can to protect its baby from hungry owls that try to catch them for a satisfying meal. The mother bat ignores the risk of death but tries her best to keep her baby safe. Example is a fireman saving a child from a burning house is another example of an altruistic behavior. Next is living in groups with the same kind. Most animals of the same kind live together and exercise social behavior. For example, a school of fish swims as one group, moving or changing direction together in the water, not one leaves the school or swims away on its own. This makes them look like a bigger fish and helps to scare away predators. Another example is the ants. Ants are well known for living together in a colony. A group where a member has a specific task to carry out is a colony. The leader of the ant colony is the queen ant. Her primary task is to lay the eggs in order to enlarge and strengthen the colony. The largest among all the other ants is the queen ant, depend on them for food. Worker ants do the following jobs gathering and storing food, digging holes and tunnels to serve as their homes 
and storage area for food, moving eggs to different places in the hives, and feeding the baby ants. Other ant colonies have soldier ants that defend the members when danger strikes. They lay eggs, the queen needs a mate, the rule of which is fulfilled by the drones, male ants. So class, those are the animals that live together and work together. Now let's move to living with another kind. A long-term relationship that exists between different species is called symbiosis. Ang ibig sabihin ng symbiosis are different species that live together. So class, there are several kinds of symbiosis. In each kind of symbiosis, one animal is always helped while the other may either be helped or harmed or not affected at all. Plus, there are different kinds of symbiosis. The first one is mutualism. This is a kind of symbiosis where both animals are helped. Example is the sea anemone and the clownfish. They enjoy this kind of relationship. The clownfish become immune to the sting of the sea anemone by darting in and out of its tentacles for some time until it is safe to live inside. When a predator chases the clownfish, the, it quickly hides inside the sea anemone. The predator now becomes the prey of the sea anemone. The clownfish has a hiding place while the sea anemone has its meal delivered. Another example is the ox pecker perches on a buffalo's head and back to eat the insects that bother it. The ox pecker gets its food while the buffalo is relieved of pets. Last example is the ostrich and the zebras. These animals stay together in the African grassland. The zebras has a keen sense of hearing while the ostriches have sharp eyesight. This combination helps them sense impending danger and run away together to safety. So class, these examples of symbiosis illustrate kung paano ang both animals maging benefit sa isa't isa. Next kind of symbiosis ay tinatawag na host and parasite relationship or parasitism. This symbiosis, the only one animal benefits from the relationship while the other is harmed. So class, this parasite depends on the host for its survival, particularly for its food supply. The host does not get anything from the parasite, but it is often hurt or badly affected by it. Example ng host and parasite relationship ay ang dogs at flea. Okay, the dog is the host and the flea as the parasites. Next, symbiosis ay tinatawag na commensalism. This is another kind of symbiosis where one species is helped while the other is not affected at all. This exists between an orchid and a tree. The orchid receives rain and sunlight as it hangs on a tree trunk. This kind of symbiosis is called commensalism. Next is carnivorous animals or meat eaters depend on other kinds of symbiosis to assure their survival in their habitat. A lion hunting a deer in the vast grassland shows a relationship called predation, where the lion is the predator and the deer is the prey. To survive, the predator and the prey try to be faster, stronger, or smarter than the other. Another kind of relationship among organisms is called competition. This can exist among species of the same or of different kinds, Meeting their basic needs is usually the main reason for competition. They compete for space, territory, food, water, light, or mates. Often, they compete for their lives. Those who fail may die or be forced to find another place to live. So that's all class. See you next time. Bye-bye.